Hi loves, welcome to my channel. Today we're talking favorites and it is long overdue. I have so much to share with you. It's in household, health, food, hobbies, sleep, <laughs> clothing, beauty, makeup, skincare, nails, hair, the whole nine yards. <laughs> so let's dive directly into it and try to cover all these bases. First up, look at this adorable pill case. I really absolutely love this. It's called a pomelo. And it obviously looks like a little uh, grapefruit and each segment has the day's vitamin or pill. And you open up this little thing and it comes out. And then my favorite part is then when you switch to the next day, you press this button and it clicks over to the next day and you can take that one out. And there's something so satisfying about that click. <laughs> it's like a little reward for taking your vitamin. And then to refill it, it just pops open. And you can open it from the top and put in your pills and vitamins. And I just think this thing is so cute. Like it's actually so cute that it makes me want to take my vitamins. I have one that has to be taken on an empty stomach, so I take it like first thing in the morning and that's the purpose of this. So I just have it by my bed and I wake up and I see it and I'm like, look at that cute thing. I'll go ahead and take my vitamin now. So I had to share that. It wouldn't fit a lot of pills or vitamins. So depending on how much you have to take, it might not be great. But if you just have one or two things, it's perfect. And it's just so cute. Um, I still stand by my older suggestion for this pill case. I love this thing. It's magnetic so you can take just the day's tabs. You could do a day and a night section if you needed to. Um, and you can fit a ton of vitamins in here if you have like some big old horse pill sized fish oil that you take or something. So I love this one too. I will link them both. They're both from Amazon. Next, let's get into some kitchen things. I have been obsessing over this tea. And I think this was actually originally recommended to me like maybe years ago by one of my friends from here. But it's French vanilla flavored and the one I get is decaf. To be honest, since this whole global pandemic situation, I have gone completely caffeine free because I realized caffeine was really adding to my stress levels. So even tea, which is usually kind of more mild, um, was bothering me. So now I'm just having decaf, decaf coffee, decaf tea. I don't have to give up the flavors of what I love, but um, I just feel a lot more calm when I don't have caffeine in times like this. Anyway, so I love that this is decaf. I love the vanilla flavor, and I've actually been making iced tea out of it. I will take four bags and put about four cups of boiling water, let it brew for a while, and then add cold water to fill up the pitcher, and Nate loves it, I love it. It's just been really good. I've been buying it like in bulk on Amazon. I think I have like a backup of six boxes right now, but we go through it really fast because it's our favorite. This spice seasoning blend has to be mentioned. You've probably heard of it before, but just in case, it's from Trader Joe's. Everything but the bagel. It's so good. I made Nate some avocado toast this morning with this on there. Mm, it's so good. It's truly all the goodness of an everything bagel, but you can just put it on anything from avocado toast, to avocado, to toast, <laughs> to eggs. I don't know, it's just amazing. It spices up anything that you're cooking. Speaking of what you might be cooking, I had to share this vintage cookbook reproduction. Isn't it so gorgeous? I love the old Betty Crocker cookbooks. Um, this one is a reprint of one from 1950. And I thought it was so cool that they completely reprinted it in its like exact original form, all the illustrations and recipes, all the sections, and you can get it for modern day pricing. You don't have to pay antique prices and it's brand new. It doesn't have like a bunch of flour and butter spilled on it from past generations. So I just thought this was really cute and it's kind of a fun glimpse into the past. And a lot of these recipes still really stand up, I mean, if you like grandma's cooking, this is where she probably got it from. So this has been fun to have for me while I've been trying new baking and cooking in quarantine. And also I just think it looks really homey and cozy on the kitchen counter. So love that they reprinted that and you can just get it on Amazon like any other new book. A few other books I have to mention. These I've shown, this is a little collection of poems by Pablo Neruda. He's 
one of the most beautiful poets of our time and I just love this little collection. I just think it's so romantic to have a little book of poems and the fact that it's pink and the ink is even like rose gold. It's just a gorgeous little book. And so I've been keeping this on my bedside table, reading it first thing in the morning instead of just scrolling on my phone. <laughs> and they're really pretty. Like sometimes I'll read one to Nate or um, just kind of carry it with me to like reflect on some poetry throughout the day. I think it's so much nicer and it's just a little thing that's completely slipped through the cracks of society. Like who reads poetry anymore? I don't know. But I love Pablo Neruda's poetry and I thought this was beautiful. And it has the original Spanish on one side and an English translation on the other side. So if you can read it in the original, all the better. But really cute book. And then this is a gorgeous book. It's been all over my Instagram because I've been obsessed with it. But this is such a beautiful printing of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. Classic novel, obviously. But they kind of reimagined it in this beautiful illustrated version and all throughout it has recipes from Martha Stewart. So it's a really fun mix of like a cookbook and literature. And I love the way they did the pages. Like it looks like little cookies, decorated cookies. And it's just so beautiful. Like each chapter has these gorgeous baked goods in it and like really pretty font choices. And it just, a, it's a joy to read and to flip through. And then the recipes are divine. I haven't made any of them yet, but I definitely will once I can get my hands on some flour and other grocery staples that are hard to come by in these times but it's just so, so pretty. I love how they did the layout and it's a really fun book to read. I love the story of Pride and Prejudice. Look how pretty this is. Um, and if you've never read Jane Austen, oh, that looks good, look at that cake. All right, well, we, I we could do a whole video of flipping through this book with you, but if you've never read Jane Austen, then I would recommend it. It can be a little daunting to read for the first time since the language is so different than how we speak now 200 years later, but I would recommend actually seeing one of the movies first and then reading the book so you can kind of picture the characters and the plot from the movie and have it in your mind's eye, and that'll help you understand the language a little better. That same thing goes with like Shakespeare, I'd say. So I know usually you're supposed to read it before you watch it, but that will help if you're struggling. And I just think this is so fun. I'm reading this with the book club and my Patreon, the little Milk and Honey Life Club that I have. And so it's been fun to know that other people are reading Pride and Prejudice along with me. I think I might just go ahead and read all of Jane Austen's books, especially while I'm quarantined. I thought that'd be a fun challenge. And the last book I wanted to show is this. A book that takes its time. And I just got this as a gift from my sweet friend, Nanette. So I haven't had time to go through it yet, but it's so cool. I can just instantly tell it's amazing. It has all these little add-ons all throughout. And you kind of work your way through it and there's creative prompts and journaling prompts and like things to help you kind of be present and mindful and slow down. There's like postcards that you can send little note cards that you can tear out. I just think the concept of this is so cute. It's so fun. There's like little notebooks in the book that you can take out. It's like a fun journal activity book for grownups. <laughs> and it's really pretty. And I just thought something like this would be the perfect way to have like some meditative journaling time, especially if you struggle with needing, prompt, needing to be prompted or not knowing what to say or do to be creative. This would be awesome to like work your way through it. I'm so excited to start this. Speaking of hobbies, I wanted to recommend cross stitch. And yes, the year is 2020 and I'm sitting here unironically telling you to take up cross stitch, but I just really love it. This is something I did recently. Um, here's one I did 10 years ago. It was my first one ever. <laughs> so I've improved a bit, I hope. But this was based on a free pattern. HGTV put out a bunch of really cute free patterns. So I will link to those. And if you can read, if you can read, you can cross stitch because basically you just have to look at the pattern, get the fabric and the thread. Like there's so many videos on how to get started. I'm sure you guys can figure it out, but we'll just translate the pattern onto the fabric and it turns out so cute. So if you're wanting to take up a new hobby right now, that's one of my favorites. I'm also hoping to take up gardening more so. 
as much as I can living in a city apartment with a very small balcony. But I feel like we're all having that itch to have like a victory garden or <laughs> some sort of means of um, feeling that sustainability of being able to grow your own food maybe, something like that. So this I thought was really cool and my aunt sent me this. It's an heirloom herb garden and it has cilantro, basil, parsley, mint, and chives. And just these really cute little cubs. It has the soil, the seeds, everything you need to get started. It has these little tags. So I'm so excited to do some gardening as much as I can, city living style. And I just thought this was a really great place to start. Even if you have a big backyard, this might be a good way to start small and then you can kind of grow from there. So that is really cool. Another food related, household related item I wanted to mention was my coffee maker. I just put this here to remind myself to talk about it. This is my coffee mug from this morning. But we switched back to a full on pot of coffee style coffee maker because now that we're both home, working from home right now, having just the Keurig one cup at a time was like not cutting it. <laughs> and we are drinking more coffee, even though, like I said, it's decaf. So I just wanted to go ahead and shout out my coffee maker. It's very retro style. You know, I love that like 50s diner aesthetic. Um, but what I love most about it is that it has a timer. So really any coffee pot with a timer would work for what I'm about to say, but setting the coffee to brew when you need to wake up, it's just the best motivator. I love it so much. I love laying in bed, I hear my alarm go off, and before I can like hit snooze, the scent of the coffee starts to whiff, waft in, and I hear that happy percolating sound. Like it's such a cozy sound. It, it sounds like someone's up before you and they're like taking care of you. <laughs> and it turns out that person was you the night before setting yourself up. But it's just such a cozy thing to wake up to. I absolutely love having my coffee in the morning ready for me. So that has been like, sounds pathetic, but that has been giving me a reason to get out of bed. <laughs> and I do think there's something to be said for having a reason that you want to get up. It can be so small, but if there's just some little thing you're looking forward to, it's easier to get up on time. It's easier to start your day. I think it makes you live longer because whenever I see interviews with like a hundred year old ladies, they always have something that they, it might even be like a vice, but there's something that they get out of bed for, but a cup of coffee or something. And having that little motivation goes a really long way. Another thing that's helping me a lot to get out of bed and into the kitchen in the morning is this little doohickey. This is from Amazon. You know, they have their whole Alexa line. We have, I think the Echo Dot, like one of the first ones ever, which is a round like speaker. And this is like the cheapest one they have. It's called Echo Flex. And I love this thing to have in my kitchen. If somebody hadn't got us an Alexa device in the first place, I never probably would have known how amazing they are because it totally doesn't seem necessary to have like a little robot assistant in your house. But it's just so great. Every time I use it, I feel like I'm in the Jetsons or I'm in like a 1950s documentary about the future. It's just so much fun to be able to talk to a little robotic assistant. So I will tell her like to add things to my shopping list. Then when I'm at the store, I can easily check the app and see what's on the list. Um, ask her like how many tablespoons are in a cup, little kitchen things. She can pull up recipes. We play Jeopardy every single day through our Alexa. It's just endless. But my favorite thing is actually to play music. And I've learned through the app, you can schedule the music to start at a certain time. So at 8 a.m. in my kitchen, the coffee starts brewing and the music starts playing on here. And it is just so nice to come into, it's like I'm walking into a diner in the morning. It just feels so good. So this thing doesn't have the best sound quality, this one, because it's like their cheapest one. But I personally really like that tinny, kind of low quality sound, like an AM radio in your grandma's kitchen or something. I just find that endearing. But some of the higher end ones have amazing speakers and you can obviously control it with your voice. So you just tell her to play whatever music you want to hear or schedule it. And it's a great way to add more music to your life because that is such a mood booster. Another simple little household thing I'm loving is this quite basic alarm clock. But I just thought it was cute because it was pink and had kind of a retro aspect to it. And I'm really trying to be good about no phones in bed. My husband's also trying and 
quality of sleep is a challenge right now, so I'm gonna get to that more too. But um, one thing that really helps is not having your phone, and we all need our phones for our alarm clock these days, so I was like, why don't I just get a real alarm clock? <laughs> so this just couldn't be simpler, but there's something really cozy and old fashioned about an actual alarm clock as opposed to your cell phone. And it looks nice on the bedside table and just really simple little, this would be good in like a guest room too. It's always nice to give your guests. So that is something I'm enjoying. And here's a candle recommendation. It smells so good. It is from Walmart and it's the hazelnut cream candle. I just restocked it because I went through my last one. Mm, it smells so good. If you like hazelnut, I'm a huge sucker for hazelnut and almond. Uh, it's almost got a coffee scent to it. It's just delightful and you can't beat the price point on Walmart candles. <laughs> you know I love me some Bath & Body Works, but this is so much more affordable. So hazelnut and cream if you like those types of scents. Two more quick household things. These hangers are awesome. The Velcro command strips, they are damage free and they hang really well and it's just a marvel of modern <laughs> technology that the, like, the Velcro can be strong enough to hold things up. So I use them, like for instance, on these paintings, like Nate makes me a painting every Valentine's Day and it's just oh, so precious to me. He does such a good job. And there's no way to really hang these. Like he uses this little heart block. And so I put these Velcro strips on it and they're totally removable. Like it doesn't damage the canvas at all. And you put the other strip on, you press it against the wall and it's enough to hang it, it's amazing. So these are great. If you don't wanna damage your walls, you don't wanna damage your art. And I don't know like how heavy, it says up to 16 pounds. I haven't tested it with anything too heavy, but I will say it's very secure miracle. It's miraculous, I love it. This is a strange one to be mentioning, but I feel like it needs to be put out there that <laughs> these are the best dog poop bags and they smell good. I think they're lavender scented and they're biodegradable. I will put the link below. I just get them in bulk on Amazon. I think the brand is called Earth Rated and I have two dogs so we go through these bags a lot and I like knowing that they're biodegradable and I like that they smell good so had to mention it. All right, let's talk more about sleep. Like I said, it's a challenge. I've talked to so many people who are struggling right now. I am struggling right now and for me, the hard part is like staying asleep. I can fall asleep usually, but then I'll wake up at like 3 a.m. and go watch I Love Lucy reruns and not get my rest. So this is something that helps me. You can't rely on this. You can't use it like every single night, but this is called Natural Calm and it has magnesium and melatonin and it's formulated to really help calm you down and get some sleep. And I find that if I take this, I'm much more likely to sleep through the night <laughs> than if I don't. So once in a while, when you need a little extra help, you need to like calm your mind, this can be good. It does not taste great. It says wild berry flavor. It's like pretty sour, but it's worth it for <laughs> how much it helps. Another thing that really helps me is to take a bath or to use aromatherapy. So these are kind of my go-to products for that. I love this lavender Epsom salt. It smells so good. This is the Dr. Teal's brand, but you can also get, Target has a brand, I think most drugstores kind of have a rip-off version of this. And a little bit of this in the bath before bed is so nice. Also in the bath, this is from Bath & Body Works, their Sleep Aromatherapy. And this makes the best bubbles out of any bubble bath I have tried, and I have tried so many bubble baths. This just makes like abundant, silky, soft bubbles. And you guys always message me on Instagram when I show my bath and you're like, how do you have so many bubbles in your bath? And this is how it works so well. And it's lavender vanilla scent. So again, it's like divine sleepy time scent. Goes with this really well. And then I always like to have like a matching set. So the lotion afterward, this lotion is really rich and creamy and it's so hydrating and it has the same amazing lavender and vanilla scent. So love this combo. You can give yourself like a whole lavender themed bath night, light some lavender candles, have a cup of this and you will sleep like a little baby angel. It's so, so soothing. Also, while we're on the topic of sleep, I wanted to share some pajama favorites. These are all from Amazon. And I felt like this was the time to level up the PJ game because 
so many of us are in loungewear a lot more right now. So like this is a cute pajama set. I really like pajamas that feel more indulgent. So this has like the black lace trim and the crushed velvet. And I think the pink and the black is so cute. It's just like a little tank and shorts. I personally am always cold, especially at night. So I don't really like to sleep in shorts. I find that they're not warm enough, but I know most people prefer less coverage. So I wanted to share this because it is just so pretty and chic. Like, if you've been wearing your husband's boxers and an old t-shirt, then you need to level up your game because this will make you feel like Zsa Zsa Gabor or something. Like, it's just so fabulous to lounge. And it's very soft and girly and just fun. Next, I also have a silk pajama set. So these are um, long pants. They have the classic stripe piping and then they have the matching top again with the piping in the pocket and I like this because it's warmer so long sleeves and pants and again it just feels well it's so silky and soft so it feels really good but it just feels so much classier to be lounging around in this than in like sweatpants and a concert t-shirt so I'm loving this whenever I have this pajama combo on Nate is like wow you look so put together <laughs> So pretty good for PJs. And then this one borders on maybe being a little bit grandmotherly, <laughs> but I really love it. And I love watching old movies. And one thing I noticed is that the women just will look so fabulous in their nightgowns. Well, apparently I forgot to bring the other part of it in here, but this is a two piece set from Amazon. And this is like the overpiece robe that comes with it. It's got the silk detailing, like a half sleeve long full-length robe with a ruffle <laughs> and I just think it's so fabulous and it has a little tie and then it has a matching nightgown that goes under it so yes it could be kind of matronly but I think with like a fabulous hair turban some fabulous slippers maybe some lipstick sprawled on the couch like swirling your champagne it's a vibe <laughs> so I just had to share this because Old movies always show those fabulous pajama combos and you're like sitting at your vanity doing your skincare and it's just so elevated from what we have degraded ourselves to with wearing old sweatpants and stuff. And I know I feel better about myself when I do have nice sleepwear and loungewear even if no one's going to see it. Um, it's worth, you're worth stepping it up a little bit in that department. So those are all easy things you can just find on Amazon. I know we can't be out shopping right now, but those are my suggestions. And now we can finally move into a beauty. I love beauty and skincare. So let's do skincare first. These are called Mighty Patches. And they are just little, like a little band-aid sort of looking thing. And you put it over a zit overnight and it just sucks all the badness out. It's so gross. But it sucks it out and in the morning, it's flat and it's contained and it's a little lifesaver and I just love it and it's so much more sanitary than like popping it or messing with it. Please don't ever pick at your face. It's not worth the scarring that could happen. So I really like these patches as like a very hygienic way to address something. Um, if you want to like try to flatten your zit overnight, these work really well. Then I have two skincare products that are so orangey and delicious and enticing. <laughs> they are so rejuvenating. I love citrus scents and I love vitamin C products for the skin and I just feel like these two things gave me a whole new face recently. <laughs> like so much glowier skin. So this is the Truth Juice Daily Cleanser by Ula and Rixen and it has orange fruit water and PHA and it just smells so good. Like it wakes me up in the morning like a glass of orange juice. It's so fun and festive. <laughs> And then this lotion is incredible. This is the CEO by Sunday Riley and it has vitamin C and it's very hydrating. I am totally out, unfortunately. So here's a mini empties video for you. This is very sad, but it was just such a delight. It smelled so good, so hydrating. And I really think anytime you can give your skin a dose of vitamin C, it's so great. Next up is an eye cream. And if you know me, I'm a little bit finicky with eye creams. But this one has held my interest for more than one bottle now, so I thought we'd share it. It's from Glossier. I love their products. The pink packaging is always just like on point. It's so cute. 
This is called bubble wrap. And what I especially love is it has a pump. So I much prefer an eye cream with a pump as opposed to like dipping your finger into a jar. And it's a nice formula. I wouldn't mind if it were like a little thicker, but I know some people are kind of reactive under their eyes, so it might be for the best that it's not too smothering. But it is very hydrating, very creamy. Like I'll put it on before bed in the morning, my eyes still feel hydrated and I love that. So it's a great one. I've been using it morning and night, really enjoying it. Another thing I love from Glossier, I wanted to mention while we're talking about them, a lot of people ask me like where to start with this brand. And this is their balm.com. And it is really for anything. I use it as a lip balm sometimes. I use it as a cuticle cream. I'll use it, you could even use it as an under eye cream actually. You can see it's really thick. Elbows, dry patches, anywhere you could possibly want. I've heard some people say when you're on an airplane you can put it like in your nose to protect from germs. It truly has that many purposes. And this scent is my favorite scent. I love that it comes in scents and flavors because that just really ups the fun level of this product. But this is the birthday cake scented one and it's so, it smells so good. I don't know, I was gonna let you smell my fingers but that's weird, also impossible. But it just works great. Like now I'm using it as a hand lotion. It's so, so multi-purposeful. -pur Another lip balm that I love. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask and I will just use it day, night, whenever, it's very hydrating. But Laneige came out with this lip glowy balm. And I think it's like the same exact formula as the lip mask. It's just in a squishable tube version. When I first got it, I saw it came out this pink color and I was like, oh no, I don't want like a tinted lip gloss. But it is not tinted at all. And actually the lip mask is also pink and not tinted. So I think it's just the color of the product but it just goes on clear exactly like the overnight lip mask and I love it and I love that this, like I said, is hands-free so you don't have to like dip into the, anything. You can just put it straight on your lips and it's so hydrating, it's so nice. The Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm is still my favorite lip balm of all time for the record, but I just wanted to share some other lip products. Another lip product is this lipstick, it's what I'm wearing and this is a fun vintage classic. It's a color by Revlon called Cherries in the Snow. It came out in the 50s. And this color is just timeless. It is very perfect pinky, red, raspberry. I just think it's so much fun. You can get the matching nail polish. Um, head to my Instagram. I put both, I showed both recently in a post, but they're just so pretty. It's what I have on now and I just love it. And that was a gift from a friend, but you can find, if you're lucky, at drugstores um, that color is still something that they carry because it's a classic, iconic Revlon shade. Moving on to some body products, I just had to quickly say this is the tanner that I am most obsessed with lately because the price point is just so good on it. It's the Jurgens brand, Instant Sun. I have the deep bronze shade. I put it on two days ago, so as you can see, it's not crazy deep bronze. I, I think it looks pretty natural. Uh, it goes on really easily foolproof, so affordable. I think some of the more expensive ones might last a bit longer, but for this price point, it's just so worth it. And whenever I go a little while without tanning and then I do it again, I'm like, this is so great. Why did I ever stop? I love feeling like I have a little bit of a sunny glow to myself, even though I haven't been able to be out in the sun very much since we're all stuck at home. But if you are able to get sun, I wanted to share this sunscreen. It's only SPF 15, so it's not like for a beach day. But I think if you're just maybe on a, on a daily basis wanting a little extra protection, this is so pretty. It has the tiniest bit of shimmer. Don't know if I'll be able to show you or not. I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but there's just a very faint sparkle. It kind of reminds me of the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which I love that lotion because of the sparkle, but it's like $50 a jar. So this is kind of a good hack for that. Plus you're getting some SPF, it's unscented, and it kind of just makes you look nicer because it has a little illumination, looks like really nice on your legs, things like that. Oops, I forgot a skincare product, and this has to be discussed. This is so magical. It's by the brand Erno Laszlo, and this is a classic beauty favorite. It was like Marilyn Monroe's favorite. It's been around forever, it's such a great 
wine and this product is called the hydrotherapy memory sleep mask and it's magical look at this beautiful pink perfection <laughs> it's got this incredible like um, gelatinous texture if you can see that at all I don't want to waste a single drop of it so sorry I'm not gonna like swatch it but it's just beautiful and I will use it at night basically like a night cream in place of a night moisturizer and just wake up like so dewy and your skin is like a whole fresh canvas and I genuinely feel like this product is magical because not only what it does to your skin, but also the next morning when you look at it, this has all settled into a perfect, like as if it's never been used because it's just magical. Like it just settles into a perfect smooth surface on your skin in the jar. Also, I've been using it for a while and there hasn't been a huge dent taken out of it yet. So I'm like, is this product actually magic? Is it refilling itself somehow? <laughs> I know I'm gonna hit the bottom eventually and I'm gonna cry, but it is, so great it's a splurge i was lucky to get it as a gift from a sweet friend so it is more of an investment but i can tell you it's just as luxurious as marilyn monroe would have had you believe it's so nice okay the very last thing i'm going to talk about are nails i've been doing a pop on press on manicure since quarantine started and this one's about two weeks old so you can see it's growing out but i still think it looks pretty good considering it's two weeks I actually think it looks better than a salon manicure two weeks later might look. And what I've been using are these static nails. And I hesitate to mention them because they are like all sold out right now <laughs> because we're all in the same boat doing our nails at home. But I had never used press on nails before. Well, no, I had used like the kind of kits you can get from Target, like I think the Kiss brand. And I just never felt like they looked right, like the sizing was never right, and it was always like too big to be a real nail. It was like your nails had little helmets on them, <laughs> and I just never felt like it looked good. But these, I feel, look very natural. I think they look exactly like a gel manicure. And I'm just not good at painting my own nails. My own nails are prone to breaking. I like them long. So this has been a godsend when I can't get my acrylic. It's obviously way better for my nails than having acrylic nails on. And I just think they are so pretty. They come in beautiful colors. And they're about $14 a kit. So depending where you live, that might be almost like a salon manicure price for you. For me, it's way cheaper, but they are reusable. So <clears throat> if you're just gonna wear it for a couple days, I think you could definitely take them off and reuse them later. For me, after two weeks, like these are pretty much done. They're a little bit dinged up. So depending how hard you are on your nails, they might not be totally reusable, but I just think they're a really great set and you get a ton of nails. You see, I still have all these left, even though I've done a whole set and the glue that it comes with works great. I've never done this before and I easily figured it out. You can look up on YouTube. There's tons of tutorials from actual nail experts qualified to teach you this. But basically, you know, a little drop of glue, hold it on for 30 seconds and they stay on so well. I like to err on the side of less glue because I figure if it pops off, you just like catch it, <laughs> put some more glue on it, glue it back on and you're good to go. And that way when you do want to take them off, they're easier to take off because these will stay really, really well if you want to truly like glue the heck out of them. Like you could go on vacation and not even have to worry about it. Like they will stay on. So loving this brand. I hope they restock soon. Like please restock everything because I need to get my red manicure going again. I have a few red nails left and they were so pretty. I just really like these. They're easy to shape however you like your nails to look. I just wanted to show a couple other things that were too big to bring in my office. And I know this is sort of a strange favorite, but my thing here that I'm loving is this ironing board cover. First of all, it's very bright and festive and cheery, but it is seriously next level. It's so thick. I don't think I can show you accurately, but it is crazy thick. And it used to drive me nuts to just use those generic covers where you can kind of get like the metal, the shape of the metal ironed into whatever you're ironing. This is so thick, it just, could totally go on the cheapest ironing board, but elevate it way nicer than it really is. So I love that, and I love that it fits really well. It wraps like way under the ironing board because I was always dealing with those little ones that don't fit well and it like comes up on the side and it's like you're constantly wrestling with it and it's just such a pain. And I finally had a brainwave that there must be a better ironing board cover. I like scoured Amazon, I read all the reviews, and I wound up with this one and I just absolutely love it. It's 
such a simple thing that has actually made ironing way more enjoyable and I do enjoy ironing so this cover is a must. So that is everything. I hope you were inspired and you got some fun ideas because you absolutely deserve to treat yourselves and I hope that you're taking it easy during these crazy times however much you can. I put my Instagram handle on the screen, so be sure to hit me up over there if you'd like. Hit subscribe if you want to join the family here and have some more fun with us during all the exciting videos to come, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye guys!